Would you believe me if I told you that I created this Wi-Fi Ambilight for less than 5 euros and without a single line of code? If you encounter any issues, feel free to leave a comment. After many drawings and tests, I came up with this idea. This is my laptop and my plan is to use a 3D printed frame to hold the LEDs. The frame has 4 suction cups that allow it to stick to the back of the screen. So this way, we can remove the entire system and reattach it whenever we want. As you've probably noticed, I plan to use a 3D printer to create the frame. However, there are many alternatives to 3D printing, such as rigid plastics, thick cardboard, or even lightweight wood. However, I want the setup to be easily removable, which is why I'm using this 3D printed frame. I printed these four parts using PLA, and as you can see, I added dovetails with a 0.1mm clearance, because I need to assemble them. This is the frame, and since it was too large for my printer, I had to split it in several parts, and I also printed these two beams to reduce bending. After polishing everything, I assembled the entire frame using PVC glue and as you can see it fits perfectly behind the screen. Now that the frame is ready, I need to prepare the LEDs. I will use this 1 meter long strip containing 144 addressable LEDs. However, as you can see there are too many LEDs for the strip to be bent properly at a 90 degree angle, which I can usually do with a smaller number of LEDs. So I'll cut the strip into 4 smaller sections and solder everything together. If the number of LEDs allows you to simply bend the strip, feel free to do so. Before soldering, make sure to pay attention to the direction of the light flow, which is indicated by this arrow. As you can see, I soldered the four strips together while maintaining the light flow. With the LEDs in place, we can attach the suction cups directly to the frame using the built-in screws. The setup is almost functional. Of course, a few components are still missing, but you can already put it in place and get an idea of the final look. As you can see, it holds very well and is discreet. Now that the frame, LEDs and suction cups are in place, all that's left to do is attach the board to the frame. And honestly, I didn't overthink this part, I simply used hot glue to stick the Arduino in place. There are just a few more steps to complete the assembly, but be very careful and follow them closely as even a small mistake could prevent the system from working. I will now proceed with the wiring. I will use 3 male to male jumper wires for convenience. Any other type of wire will just work. I will connect the positive and ground of the LEDs to the positive and ground of the board and the central pin to digital pin on the Arduino. Of course, when I mention Arduino, I mean any programmable board as long as it supports Wi-Fi. Finally, I will connect the white and red wires directly to the power supply without using a switch. As for the required power supply, each LED consumes about 60 milliamps when displaying white at full brightness. For 144 LEDs, the total power consumption will be 144 times 60, which equals to 8.6 amps. However, LEDs are not always set to white at full brightness. So the actual current drawing will generally be much lower. Still, of course, it's important to ensure your power supply can handle the maximum possible load to avoid any problems. That said, I'm using a power supply that provides 5 volt and 4 amps. Now I'm gonna show you how to set everything up. So make sure you're paying attention. First, open WLED, the link is in the description. Once you've done that, grab the latest release and hit install. Pick your board and click connect. After that, set up your Wi-Fi and click visit device. Make sure your computer and the board are on the same Wi-Fi. Next, click add segment and enter the number of LEDs you're using. All your LEDs should light up. Go to config, then LED preferences and enter your number of LEDs once again. Don't forget to select the data pin you've connected to your LEDs. Now, download and install Hyperion. The link is in the description, of course. Head to LED configuration, select WLED and your board should pop up automatically. Go to LED layout, set up your layout and save it. Then go to sources, turn on screen capture and choose QT. Next, head to image processing and make sure smoothing is enabled. Go to hardware capture, match the settings I'm using and save. Finally, don't forget to turn on the LEDs in the control panel. Unplug and plug the board back in and you're good to go. As you can see, it works perfectly and you didn't even have to write a single line of code. Alright, everything should be working now. You can game, binge your favorite shows or do whatever you want without hurting your eyes and it gives you that awesome immersive vibe anyway i hope this tutorial helped you out if you run into any issues seriously just drop a comment i read and reply to all of them it's super easy though don't forget to smash that like button and let me know what you think about this project see you soon guys